Hello, and thank you for joining Gelgado's Community College's presentation, Going With Your Gut, Tips for Selecting Your Program of Study. So for the next few minutes, I'm going to provide you with some tips and questions to think about, uh, to ask yourself, that will hopefully make you feel a little bit better about selecting the program of study that you are looking for, whether you're in a college or university setting. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So the, for many students, selecting a program of study can be one of the most important decisions uh, they make before they transition in or out of their chosen institution of higher education. Students feel that uh, they shouldn't feel alone in this struggle. How, um, however, a lot of them do, but it's important to, to know that some, somewhere between 30 and 50 percent of all college students feel undecided about their program of study every year. So never feel alone. There are a number of reasons why one might uh, be, not be able to make that decision, and it's important to be honest with yourself through this process to know why you are in the site. So what I've done is I've actually taken some time to write out some reasons that a lot of students tend to be undecided. So I'm going to go through those with us real quick. So the first one is a lot of individuals have chosen a career or know what they want to do. They just don't know what the best major is for that career. Some students are just too afraid to make the wrong decision. They feel that going to college and spending all this, uh, you know, money and resources to go to college, and they don't want to, they don't want to pick that wrong major. Maybe delay their graduation or um, be unhappy with their major. So there's a, a lot of reasons why they they just don't want to make the wrong decision. Um, some students are unaware of all the majors that are out there, and they don't even know where to get that information for where those majors are. We have students that want to major in everything. They have too many interests. They need some help narrowing it down. Um, you, you, it'll take sometimes take a little while to graduate if you you know want to have these you know five majors and four minors. So some students need to narrow it down. Some students are just not um, used to making those decisions by themselves. Some students are used to having their friends and family and mentors really provide a lot of input in their decision making. And so sometimes a choosing a major can feel like it's just for me. And so that is something that they're not used to going to those individuals for. So they need a little help um, making that decision for themselves. Some students are just not ready to commit. Some students have a major in mind, maybe two, but they just need some more time or maybe they're just afraid. We also have students that don't even know what they're interested in. They see all these options and none of them just seem to fit right. And then of course we have students that just don't want to be in college or feel that they're only there because they have to be or because somebody told them that they need to be. So it's important to know why, why you're undecided. And once you know why you're undecided, there's some questions, additional questions that you can ask yourself to provide a little insight about what's important to you and what you are looking for in a major. Now once you have an idea of, again, that reason why you're undecided, you need to dig a little deeper within yourself to find that major of study. When you reflect on these questions that I have on the presentation, this should really take some time. This shouldn't be a five minute exercise. Maybe carve out an hour one day and maybe come back another maybe a week or two weeks later and go over these questions again. You'll be surprised about how you know maybe just stewing on these questions a little bit can really open up the answers to them. So the first question I want students to think about is uh, what are their goals? You know, what are their particular career goals? You know, that they're focused on. Um, are they currently in the job market? Maybe looking for a promotion, or maybe looking to be more competitive. What subjects do you enjoy? And you know, you can do this the other way. You know, what subjects do you not enjoy? You know, and it's important when you find those subjects that you like or you don't like. What do you not like and like about them? You know, what is it about them that stands out to you? Of course, we need to think about what we what do we value, and this you know things about what what am I looking for in a work environment or the people in my work environment? What are my personal interests, personal interests or qualities that I feel are really important to me? And then finally, what skills do you have? And these can be really job specific skills, you know, like I I can weld, or these can be broader skills, skills like I'm very well organized, or I have a really uh, a knack for persuading people or speaking in front of large groups. Again, be honest with yourself and maybe come back and do some reflection um, after you've already done this exercise once before. 
And most importantly, when you're kind of thinking about these questions and really narrowing down your, your ideas, remember that there's always help out there for you. Um, it may feel overwhelming. Just remember you're not alone in this process and there are professionals available to assist you. Assist you. Your high school counselors, your college counselors, your university and college admissions staff members are here to help you with this process. You know, schedule some time in the future with these individuals at your current or future institution if you need to. Um, you know, got to do your homework. You got to, you know, get those questions down and find those answers. And then that way, when you actually sit down in front of these individuals, they'll be able to let you know, well, based off of your goals, your interests, the subjects you like and don't like, these are what we have for you. And you'll be surprised about how easy that process goes if you just kind of, again, take some time to do some reflection, really ask for help, um, and see what those institutions have um, that'll fit what you're looking for. Now, there's a whole lot of resources out there. Um, there's resources all over the web. What I've done is I've just taken a couple of good ones that I like, and I've put those here on the screen. Um, but again, you know, carve out some time, do some personal reflection, grab a notepad, even make some notations in your cell phone, and you'll be surprised about how the right major or program will just find you if you really trust your gut. So thank you so much for um, being with me today and taking the time to watch this presentation. Do some self-reflection, um, reach out to those staff members, and we'll really help you find that best major or program of study that works best for you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.